come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Coming your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not. Because we're on a mission to take over the world. Mm. These are the internet radio superstars. Michaela. Holly. Sean. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched the movie that was chosen by... Colin. What did we enter tonight? We entered the dragon. Ooh. Ooh. From, from what orifice did we <laughs> enter this dragon? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Visually. Visually. <laughs> visually. <laughs> visually. <laughs> visually. <laughs> All right. Let's... Uh, it's not from the good, year. This isn't a good start. Uh, 1973. <laughs> 73. All right. Uh, um, directed by... Robert Klaus. Robert Klaus. Anything? Klaus. This sounds like a fake name. It does. Klaus. Do we know this, Robert He just Klaus? goes by... Yes, my name is Klaus. Mm -hmm. Well, he's yeah. done like a bunch of martial arts movies. He did um, the one that always stands out to me is there. He did a movie called Jim Cotta. Oh wow! I've been meaning to bring that to the freak show. Yeah, because it had an Olympic gold medalist, yeah. I think, and it was basically a remake, I think, of Enter the Dragon. Mm -hmm. But he did uh, Black Belt Jones with uh, Jim Kelly from this movie, okay. I think, uh, the yeah, previous Black year. Jones, yeah. He did, okay. uh, he did a okay. bunch of other stuff. There was like Afro Ninja, <laughs> no, <laughs> another Jim Kelly movie, I believe. Yeah, because what I mean, well, yeah, well, I guess we'll get to like some of the folks who are uh, in this. I'm sorry, I was looking to see like uh, if I remember, uh, he directed Jackie Chan. In his first uh, movie, The Big Brawl. Nice. Uh -huh. uh, Cynthia Rothrock, mm -hmm. China O'Brien, one and two, and Bolo Young and Ironheart. This is all coming. Ironheart. Okay. Courtesy okay. of uh, uh, China O'Brien. Yeah. Well, Cynthia Rothrock's another like uh, martial artist. Yeah. I was, I was just saying, the title just doesn't seem like okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But okay. <laughs> but it stars Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. Yep. How May old? he rest. May, May he rest. rest. How old did this come out? What came out after he died? Was it this? This. No. Didn't well, yeah, this died. came yeah, out this a came month out. after he yeah. died. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And I think that's why it was such a huge thing is because, sure. I mean, like, he had just died, yeah. right? I mean, it was kind of, you know, he was on his way to... This was, like, his big, like, that's American movie. Like, this was it, and he died a month before. How old was he? 27? 32. 32? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, because he had like a, a a strange path to actually get to this because it's like yeah. he was a global phenomenon before he made his movie that was supposed to make him a global phenomenon, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, because I guess it's part of the lore, right? It's You're like talking about Circle was, of Iron, right? <laughs> well, yeah. we're going to have to talk about that. We did that on our show, but I'm sure we're going to circle back on that. Um, but yeah, because he was famously Cato in the Green Hornet, you know, uh, right. TV show. Right. And then he went to, he wasn't getting the Forgot offers that, that. that, you know, he was kind of hoping for. And so he went to Hong Kong to be in movies there. Mm -hmm. And then he did three, well, three and a half movies in a very short period of time. And I mean, worked his way up to, by the time he was doing his third movie, he directed it. Yeah. It was Way of the Dragon. He did mm -hmm. Fist of Fury. Um, oh, sorry, The Big Boss, Fist of Fury, Fists of Fury, mm -hmm. uh, Way of the Dragon. And then he did half of Game of Death. Yeah, that's the one I've seen the most of. I've seen yeah, I've seen Game of Death so many times. I don't know why. It's terrible. It's <laughs> terrible. Maybe that's so why. terrible. It's like I've I'm kind of surprised that didn't has that been done on the free show? No, no. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised our, it has. This is our first. Been... This is our first Bruce Lee movie. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, we talked about him before because yes. we did Circle of Iron, which was a movie that he was which involved was an experience. In. Yeah, a religious experience. <laughs> yeah. For some. All yeah. I remember is Eli. Wallach in the tub. Eli Wallach's balls are still floating in oil somewhere. I remember that stupid book at the end yep. when they're like, it was a you the whole time. That's what really and made me. Fucking Christopher Lee showed up movie. for yeah. two seconds and he was like, it's was all fake. He was the master of. Yeah. Well, I think that's also kind of what you see when you watch. Uh, and I just have. I guess this is the this is the culmination of. I was gonna uh, say you can tell what Colin's been doing, kind yeah. of based on the movie he brings. Yeah. Uh -huh. He went yeah. through a process and now he's like, I'm bringing this one. Yeah. Well, yeah. this one I'd seen before. This is kind of the way I think a lot of people probably get introduced to Bruce Lee. Sure. You know, this like, is, the Bruce yeah. Lee this is movie. one of those movies where it's just mm -hmm. like, this is one you think of when you think of Bruce Lee. Yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, it was a huge... I read today it, um, I think, in adjusted dollars. It's made over $2 billion. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it, yeah. Which, did you... It, it's funny, because you know that yesterday was Bruce Lee's birthday. Yeah, well, that, I, that was unplanned, yeah. but yeah. Uh, like, did you plan that? <laughs> and there was also, he was in the news this week because uh, famously he died of a, a cerebral edema. edema yeah. mm -hmm. um, the story that I got was that he 
was meeting with um, George Lazenby, who played um, James, James Bond. Bond in Honor Majesty's Secret Service, and they were talking about doing a project together. Probably Circle of Iron. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> and he was at a, a lunch meeting, and he said that he had a headache, and then he went back to his room, and he took a painkiller, mm -hmm. and he was found later dead. And Damn. so then they, they classified it as death by myth misadventure. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I didn't know that. That was sounds really, really epic. When you yeah, that really sounds like a, that's yeah. a cool yeah. way to go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, death by misadventure. Because they were yeah. thinking maybe the painkiller caused the swelling in the brain, sure. which is what killed him. You know, something had burst. That was the headache. Mm -hmm. And uh, just this week, you know, these, these uh, researchers have uh, have said that it's very possible. Did you read this? No, you guys no, no. Read this? I, I did read this. Yeah, yeah. They said it's very possible that the thing that actually killed him was too much. Water in. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This I read. This I read. You sent this to us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, I got a finger on the pulse. We're doing right. a Bruce well, Lee movie. I was wondering you know? why you sent. I had no. I, I forgot we were doing this. I had fucking no idea why you sent that to me. Now yeah. it makes sense. So we're saying he was too healthy. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. I backed off too my healthy, water. That's what killed him. I know every everything Cheers in moderation, everyone. you know. Yeah, didn't have enough sodium or something and some shit. And yeah, but there was also like they were saying, you know, extenuating cir circumstances was sure. probably like drug use and kidney damage. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, obviously the guy was a fighter for a lot of his life mm -hmm. and sure. you know probably took a lot of damage to his uh, kidneys over Ooh. time. So, right. but and who knows? But also, who know? Who knows if he was um. Uh, obviously, just by looking at this man, he trained a lot. Mm -hmm. So who knows if he was keeping up with, I mean, you say he overdosed on, or he may have d overdosed on water, basically, <laughs> yeah. but maybe other nutrients or whatever he needed, he also wasn't getting. Maybe he wasn't taking right. care of his body in the way he should have been. I, I Stuff find, we don't know about until, like, now. I find the water theory interesting because he looks like, at least in his movies, he looks like he has, like, a, a bodybuilder-type body, and they're famous for dehydrating themselves to get the muscles to pop more. Right, well, yeah. And that's, that's what he looks like in these... So I'm wondering, like, is this a situation what, yeah. where he dehydrates himself for, like, a movie, and then... Makes up for it by drinking a shit ton of water afterwards. Maybe. And that's what causes yeah. issues. Maybe that's why he's so damn cut. He looks yeah. like he has like zero body fat. Yeah. yeah. I know. You the, can see every muscle move in his body. Yeah. It's wild. It is. It's like the, you know, like those kind of anatomy, uh, you know, when you see like the peeled man, you know, or yeah. whatever. It's, it's like, like yeah. seeing that. It's like, holy fuck, that guy is either like crazy in shape or, you know, you go like, is that healthy? And obviously yeah. he died. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I don't, you know, causes, you know, were mm -hmm. uh, uh, extenuated. Waiting, I guess. Yeah. But I guess, yeah, you brought up a thing that I was going to ask. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, when you think of Bruce Lee, do you think of him as a bodybuilder? No. No. Not He's really, but I f maybe we should, you know? I know. like, it is a maybe. type of bodybuilding. Just because he has a, small, yeah. a smaller frame and everything mm -hmm. doesn't yeah. mean that that's not true. You're yeah. right. Well, it's I didn't see him do in this a uh, move that he was kind of in his movies, um, you know, that he would always do. He'd always flex and, you know, mm -hmm. like his what, deltoids, whatever. They, they, he looks like a cobra. Yeah. You know, when yeah. he has riblets <laughs> yeah. you know, over here. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like the whole, you know, yeah. the shoulder blades and all that yeah. like mm -hmm. flex out. Oh. And it's like, wow. Yeah, um, you just start poking yourself like, I have muscles there? Mm -hmm. It's like, no, no, you don't. Bruce Lee has muscles there. Yeah, he's you got know. muscles on his muscles. Well, no, like, that's like the, that's the Mr. Olympia. This is yeah. like a, a different thing. You this know, it's is like, different. Yeah, because Bolo Young is in this movie and he's ripped. But in a completely but different out. way. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. And that dude's a brick. <laughs> yeah. It's, but they're both like insanely in shape, just in completely opposite ends of the spectrum. Yeah. It's really yeah. weird. Yeah. I mean, you have to, I guess, I, maybe that's part of the thing about Bruce Lee is just kind of admiring the willpower, you know, the, the, the daily, you know, had to be yeah. like training to yeah. get into A, that shape and B, you know, that quickness and that speed, you know, the, mm -hmm. some of the stuff that he's able to do, it does seem superhuman, you know, right. mm -hmm. it's like, wow, I think he can actually pull that stuff off. Maybe he died from flexing. Like I'm like, <laughs> you ever see that episode of family guy where Brian and, and what's his name are talking and Peter are talking. He's like, every man has at least another 10 pounds because when they let go of the sucking it in all the time and everything, mm -hmm. maybe that's what he was just doing. <laughs> maybe if he let himself breathe, he'd look like Bolo Young. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just deflates into that. It all in. But he's just holding it all in for yeah. that. Do you ever see uh, Dragon, the Bruce Lee story? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I saw that movie uh, yeah. years ago. It was uh, from Fast and the Furious director uh, Rob Cohen, if I no, remember. No. But mm -hmm. they all they play around with this whole like you know because I mean I guess you know the, the, the guy the fact that the guy had like a sudden death while he was you know on his you know ascendancy yeah. into superstardom. 
you know, you, you have that, like, well, there was a family curse, you know, mm -hmm. the fact that he was teaching martial arts to Westerners, you know, because I guess that's, you know, he, 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 while he was doing Cato and the Green Hornet, he was also teaching martial arts to Steve McQueen and mm -hmm. James Coburn and yeah. these guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about it. Yeah, James Coburn and all mm -hmm. that, who were all in Circle of Iron. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. showed up somewhere yeah. in some movie doing martial arts. Well, we yeah. keep talking about Circle of Iron, but like for those of you, if you haven't seen that, it was a project, you know, that he, he From the mind to, of Bruce Lee is what yeah. it says on the front of that. But this is, I guess, like, you know, as you watch his movies, you can see this kind of, it, it, he it's a, a, like a philosophy yes. that yeah. really bogs that movie down, sure. you know, where it's uh, yeah. on, on your path to enlightenment and, you know, all this other stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, And I guess that was supposed to be what Game of Death, the original version, was supposed to be. It was like he was going to fight his way through this, like, multi-storied, uh, you know, Chinese structure. I don't know if Which, it's a... Like Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Yeah. It's just so funny to me, though, because it's like it, it really proves that enlightenment is bullshit to everyone but you. Like, no one's going to understand your enlightenment. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can try to express it all you want, and it's not going to make sense. Yeah. Uh, yes, I would yeah. find that true. Like well, it doesn't mean it's not real, but right. it's not going to make sense to anyone yep. else. <laughs> well, it, it the way if I remember the way that we approached Circle of Iron was like especially meant something it, different to Eli Wallach. Yeah, it, it sure did. It, it sounds like you know, it's like something can be really profound, but like you know, it's like we're trying to boil it down to its simplest. <laughs> and then when you Eli say it, <laughs> leave Eli alone. He's been through enough. He's, he's, <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it just sounds, you know, it's like sometimes it comes off as like, uh, is stupid, you know, it's like, yeah. this is just like, so like, you know, like, okay, be water, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I said so during like, this, okay, like, it I'll sounds try. like he sounds like a fucking cult leader when he's saying this shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Cause it's true. Like out of context to anyone else, you sound batshit crazy. Right. And he but does in that scene when he's talking all cult leader to that student at the yeah. school, he was really annoying me because he was doing a thing that drives me crazy, uh, moving the goalpost. Like, telling yeah. the kid, this is your goal. And the kid hits the goal and be like, actually, you did that wrong and you do it this way now. Yeah. I fucking hate that shit. Mm. Yeah. Like, he tells that kid, he's like, what does he say? Uh, emotional content. Yeah. Like, like use emotional content to drive your movements. And yes. then he does. And he's like, no, that's anger. It's like, yeah, that's you have an to use emotional content. Like, that's an emotion, yeah. dude. <laughs> oh, God, that's the worst. I Fuck you. Content. Yeah. Fuck Different you, Bruce content. Lee. Yeah. Can't do it with anger. But I think that was kind of him, you know, injecting, you know, part of that philosophy that right. he, yeah. you know, wanted to espouse because now he's got like a big mouthpiece to do it. Mm. Because his other movies, they don't have that, yeah. you know, because uh, the first two, which they were all retitled in the U.S., so I think it was like Fists of Fury was the f name for the big boss here and the Chinese connection, you know, it's like they renamed them. Yeah. But they're kind of more like standard. Uh, Chinese martial or Hong Kong martial arts movies, right? Mm -hmm. But I guess the thing that Bruce Lee does that when you watch him in those movies and what set him apart was uh, he, I got the impression while I was watching him, you get it a little bit in this, but not as much as you do in those earlier movies that like he wants to kill the guy he's like up against. You know, there's like a fury to this guy yeah. where he looks like, you know, like you, the, the stunt performer who's in the the scene with him is like in danger. Like he really <laughs> wants to hit him. Like yeah. if it's going to look good, I'm going to hit you and I'm going to look like I'm gonna, you know, mm -hmm. trying to kill you. All this uh, made me believe the portrayal of Bruce Lee in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I was going to say, <laughs> I was really I'm thinking about that during that. this. Yeah. Because that was supposed to take place like before he went to, while he was still uh Cato, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe so. Yeah, because he was shooting on the yeah. Green Hornet. And there was there was scenes of him like teaching other other actors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I loved that portrayal. Was so <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right, because uh, Steve McQueen is in that movie yeah. too, but not you know, you never see him as the you know, oh, yeah. the, the other thing that uh uh this is a sidebar. Eventually we're gonna talk about the movie, but <laughs> nah. you know, in watching these uh the other Bruce Lee movies leading up to it and Way of the Dragon, his chief nemesis, right? The guy they gotta call in because Bruce Lee is just killing everybody else, is Chuck Norris. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. And I'm like, this is why Chuck Norris like we've done Chuck Mo Norris movies on this show, but I never thought I got it until I saw this and I'm like, because they position him like he's the only guy who could take on Bruce Lee. Like their fight is like almost an even match until it isn't. Right. But you know, it's like, oh, this is why Chuck Norris is Chuck Norris. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or why he had a Does career. Does he have a beard in that movie? 
Or is he clean No, shaven? he's clean shaven. Damn. Yeah. It's, it's an weird. odd looking man it's clean weird. shaven. Mm-hmm. It's real weird. Yeah. And Game of Death was, um, they've actually, they've found like some of the footage and reconstituted yeah. what, it, what it was originally supposed to be or what, what they have. I think right, it's like 13 right. minutes. <laughs> they only use, I think, like five minutes or something in the released Game of Death where yeah. they brought Robert Klaus back to direct mm-hmm. and they created this whole story using body doubles and pasted on it's like, bad. you know. Uh, oh, no. faces and shots from other movies, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, makes me they'll, watch they'll, it. they'll cut into random scenes from other movies that like the color toning and everything is completely different. And you're like, okay, <laughs> well, that's yeah, something else entirely. It's really bad. And uh, we're bearing the lead here. Kareem Abdul Jabbar is in this movie. Yeah, why, are we yeah. why are we watching this? Why are we watching this? Why are we watching this? It's still on the table. All right, and is this in your Grizzly package? Yeah, Ooh. but you know what they said is, uh, uh, and this is unfortunate, but I guess like the number two most seen uh, Bruce Lee movie is Game of Death. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's my number one most seen movie. I don't know how it ended up that way. It's unfortunate, but yeah. it's oh, very unfortunate. And that movie's just so incredibly low budget compared to everything else, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, the original kind of, you know, mm-hmm. it had, I mean, it, the style is different. When they finally do cut into mm-hmm. the, uh, like, the actual game of death footage, it's like, it doesn't match at all, right. like, the style and tone of the movie that's coming for it. Um, who else is in this movie? John Saxon. Were you surprised? Billed, uh, I forgot he was in it. I knew he was in it, but I forgot. Um, but he is uh, co build with yeah. Bruce Lee in this they movie. They share a title yeah. card, yeah. yeah. Sure, I think there was concern on the part of Warner Brothers, even though they were kind of bringing him American over. In this movie? Yeah, because well, yeah, you got to have your Johnny Cage. <laughs> you do, yeah. you do. <laughs> because I, I think they were still under the, you know, the, like testing the water. Because I guess first time you do anything, it's like, will an Asian actor be able to carry, like, carry movie. the movie? Yeah. So they were kind of like doing an insurance thing, right? So we got you know John Saxon in there. Um, John Saxon, right? There was a movie that I saw, and it was called like Moonshine County Express, and I think it was a Roger Corman movie, and it was like a kind of a, it was like they wanted to do White Lightning, but instead of having Burt Reynolds, they had John Saxon, and watching that, I'm like, this guy's career could have gone like a different way, a different direction. <laughs> he could have been like the Bruce, or the, yeah, the Burt Reynolds of, uh, you know, Interesting. the late 70s. <laughs> Yeah, because when was, I when I saw the title card, I'm like, John Saxon, is he going to fight in this movie? Because I know he had, he had trained. We discussed it before in some fashion or another. But I was just like, all right, I want to see this guy's style, what he's bringing, because I couldn't see it. I can't see John Saxon as a as a fighter. <laughs> I well, now either. It's, it's so weird. It's, it's weird. Mm-hmm. To wrap it's real weird. Around, yeah. Or this, it put him in the same category as like James Coburn getting out there and doing kicks yeah. and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Just don't see it. But man, I mean, like we know him as, you know, from Nightmare on Elm Street, you know, or Tenebrae. Black Christmas or, you know, I mean, th- that guy's been like, he's been everywhere and done everything. He's done telling cannibal movies. Yep. And Moonshiner he's movies. Done it all. Yeah. Moonshiner, yep. And he's a karate student. Did you believe his, uh, his karate? karate I mean, he was doing it, so I believed movie. it. If. <laughs> If it had been a movie that Bruce Lee wasn't in, sure. And if he yeah, wasn't fighting <laughs> Bolo Young. Yeah. Yeah. Because he beats Bolo Young. And yeah. I don't believe it. Let's repeat yes. that. He beats Bolo Young. Yes. Yeah, a big Bolo. Like, Holly was like, I call bullshit. And I was like, I yeah. kind of agree with you yep. here. I don't think as easily as he did. Did you have that problem? Or maybe this is one of the problems I have with this movie is I always, like, if you have Bruce Lee in your movie right and Mm -hmm. you can see what that guy can do and then you end up like putting all these other people in it who i don't ever feel like they are a match for him you know they're not at the end when he's (laughs) fighting this other guy it's like okay this is just going to be bruce lee whipping on this guy's ass (laughs) the only reason the only reason there's a fight is because there's mirrors everywhere right yeah (laughs) yeah that's true that's it it. makes you like i want to see bruce lee fight bruce lee yeah like that's what I want to see, because I want to see someone who can just match it up with him. himself. Because of all the mirrors, I don't know. I mean, I'm no. going for the okay. No, no. Uh, <laughs> not in that. <laughs> I love that 
like 50% of Bolo Young's career like on screen his time. Mouth? It's just him glaring like menacingly. It's just like his faces. He, he, he rarely he ever has, speaks in movies, I feel no, like. No, and he has the best face. He's yeah. got the best reactions to everything. He Whether does. he's trying yeah. to kill a dude, yeah. he's getting his arm pulled he out. Emo- or, he emotes very well. Why is or there somebody not- told him he was going, they're going to fucking kill him. He's what? got the best faces. Why are we not using more Bolo Young reaction gifs? Like, what, there should be. There should be yeah. more. Yeah. We Why should is there be not more. a whole catalog? Know, There's plenty I, to choose from. I can't hear his voice nope. in no. my mind. Like I don't even know what you he sounds like. Oh, I haven't seen his <laughs> uh, his film that Robert Klaus did with him. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, was that? No, Iron, he is. Iron he is. He, so he is, expressive. Uh, Mm-hmm. He's very expressive, yeah. and then, like I said, he's a very giant man. Mm-hmm. So, and then in it contra- makes an impression. And then in contrast, you have Bruce Lee's perfect smolder. He smolders this entire movie <laughs> in the most emo, wonderful way. Yeah, 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 there should always be just a little <laughs> smoke coming off of him. Yeah, yeah. It's like the, yeah. Death, the death glare. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. His body should steam. I feel like when he's. Yeah. It feels like it. Yeah, he's because uh, he's he's out there like moving around a lot very quickly. Yeah. Like the the motors are you know doing all the uh, high he, tension he tension. Young and start doing tensions. conventions or something so I can meet him. Is he still alive? Sure. Yeah, is he on Instagram? Because okay, okay. I, I was like, yeah, what's I, Bolo Young I doing? Just checked because I was worried that he might not still be alive. But he is. He's still with us. Is okay, he on Instagram? How old is he? He should be like. He was born in forty six. So oh, do the math. Damn. Yeah, yeah. older my dad. Yeah, so, he's, uh, mm-hmm. he's so he's like seventy something. Yeah. yeah. Hit the convention circuit, man. Samo Hung. Anybody? Yeah, no Samo. He's at the beginning of the movie. From martial law. Yeah, he's the guy who at the uh, at the, the Shaolin Temple that uh, Bruce Lee fights at the very beginning of the movie. At the very, <laughs> very beginning. I remember the yeah. beginning of the movie. Yes. Uh, Love Sammo. Yeah, and then Jim Kelly is also in this. Jim movie. Jim Kelly is in this movie because you need your Afro uh, black man to mm-hmm. you know yeah because fill I, out your cast. And I think you were also capitalizing on like the black exploitation sure. uh, films that right. were you know Shaft and all that was seventy one or seventy two right. I mean this was the era, and um, I looked him up um, because I mean uh, if you don't know him for Enter the Dragon, then you may not know him from Black Belt Jones. But that right. was like probably the other thing that you know again, people were known from was in there. He's done. Yeah, there were a couple of them in there that sounded actually like pretty good movies. Like, yeah, they'd be fun. He was a karate instructor uh, who became a movie star through. He was uh, coaching. I don't remember the name of the movie, but the first movie that he was in in a bit part, he was playing a karate instructor. And it was uh, Calvin Lockhart who was the star of uh, The Beast Must Die. And Rosalind Cash was oh, also yeah. in that. Yeah. Sort of tying it all around. There we go. Uh, Beast Must Die. But oh, he, yeah, w- he was actually teaching Calvin Lockhart karate off screen. And then it was, you know, in the movie. But this movie is like an introducing. Uh, right, yeah. You know? um, so, the movie. The movie. Oh, yeah. 20 minutes in. <laughs> the movie. Is about a Shaolin monk. Mm. Played by Bruce Lee. Mm. Sure. Yeah. Who has to go James Bond like is recruited by the British government. Yeah, basically. Sure. But yeah. they still have uh don't they still have like control over China or control over Hong Kong? Hong Kong. Okay, yes. But we discussed the that guy before. Braithwaite, Braithwaite yes. specifically says like we uh we're just an intelligence service right, for just, governments. We're just gathering stuff. We don't actually have any force yeah. Yeah. anything that can go out and do anything. We can't do anything. Yeah, we gotta call someone. Right. We gotta yeah. bring people in. And so we're bringing you in, Bruce Lee. So there's a massive James Bond uh, influence. Yes. Mm-hmm. Feels like it. Music wise, <laughs> suit wise, and just kind of a feeling to it. As he's uh, as he's being briefed, as he's uh, as he's you know doing spy shit, like yeah. he's climbing walls and jumping everywhere. He didn't really get the gadgets we were kind of no. maybe hoping for. There was no Q branch. He didn't need it. He no. just had a rope. And I think yeah. and I think that may, uh, it feels like a Bruce Lee is like I don't need gadgets. I'm I am the gadget. Yeah, but <laughs> he's, I can use myself. He's right. I am Inspector yes. Gadget. Yes, he's right. <laughs> but that's kind of what I was you know sitting here tonight watching. And I'm like, man, you know, how long into this movie are we? We really haven't head like our bruce lee you yeah. know big to see what he can do yeah you know he's doing stuff like sneaking around and being all stealthy and it's like oh look at him he moves like a fucking jaguar you know mm-hmm. he's and fighting snakes he's fighting, fighting snakes, snakes. and he's looking good doing it too because he's yeah. got a full head to toe like uh uh um like archer would be uh very jealous of this look like mm-hmm. cartoon art yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. yeah he's always got the black turtlenecks going on and everything mm-hmm. like that so many turtlenecks so many so turtlenecks, many turtlenecks. Movie. everybody's wearing a turtleneck mm-hmm. Bolo Young's wearing just very tiny shirts. <laughs> he had a yellow turtleneck on in the beginning. He did. But it was sleeveless, wasn't it? Yeah. No, no, no. It was short I, and no, sleeve. No. 
Short it was sleeve, he sleeve. is so big it looked sleeveless. <laughs> it looked Bolo Young is the kind of guy who looks at people and is like, "Is this shirt too small?" And when they say yes, he puts yeah. on a small. No, shirt. yeah, I like, was, that is Bolo Young. It was you short wear sleeves. It was short sleeve because I remember thinking, "Wow, I would wear that sweater. <laughs> it's yeah. really cute. Yeah. It was like mustard it was yellow. Good, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, it was, it was sweater. cute. Well, they're cute. all color coordinated on this island. They really so, are, yes. right. So that's he's recruited to go to Han's Island. Yeah. Han being a Shaolin student. Who apparently went rogue. He absconded. And is doing his own thing in the world. To his making, own he's making daughter profit. assassins. Yeah. Um, Which, I mean, you know, props. Yeah. yeah why, not? <laughs> why not? He's living the life. I yeah. mean, it's a James Bond villain y- right. yes. you know, yes. thing. He's got his own private island and he hosts this tournament. And so we're inviting all these great fighters to the tournament. Mm. And Bruce Lee is recruited to go in there and act as the agent for the uh, the good guys. Yes. Right? Um, oh yeah, we watched the director's cut. Uh, this is not the theatrical version, oh. and the, the difference is the uh, the scene where Bruce Lee talks to the um, head uh, monk. Uh huh. Yeah. That, John Wayne. Yeah. yeah. John you want to sound Wayne, like yes. John Wayne? Yeah. Yeah. That's the addition. Oh, oh, really? So it's that's more it. philosophy, oh. yeah. Because okay. I mean, it's like when now watching, it's like you got two philosophy scenes back sure. to back. You know, sure. you have True. that one, and then the one with the student. Sure. The theatrical just goes right to the student. Um. So these. So wait, I have a question then. Later on, the voiceover. Yeah. Does yeah. the vo- is the voiceover changed at all? I was wondering about that watching it this time myself because I don't think I made it all the way through the theatrical <laughs> cut in a long time. Uh, I've always watched the the longer one. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm wondering if that's now because the ghost voice scene. comes back like yeah. during the mm-hmm. final conflict. But you could easily cut that out and have the yeah. same results and everything. So I guess but yeah. it's just like, does much. the score match? Is it going to end early? I always think about that kind of right, thing. Yeah. You change the edit and the runtime. Yeah. Um. So the three fighters have. Three different backstories. Uh, Bruce Lee, why does he want to go to the island? They killed his sister or something? Well, they're responsible for her death. She killed herself. Yeah. In a very, in what, a Harry Carey? <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, that's Japanese. That's Japanese. So, uh, I'm sorry. It would not be. It would, uh, self, uh, suicide. Yeah, the self-suicide. Yeah, the self-suicide where you take your, uh, your uh, same sword. Co- same concept, just not called that. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And run yourself through. Yeah, because she's pursued by the rapists from the island who get off the boat and are led by Bob Wall. Bob he was Wall. another. Uh, he's in like all the other Bruce Lee movies. Yeah. He's, he's uh, the scar I thought he was a student, but he isn't. He ran another like uh, karate studio and eventually a rival sold his studio. Oh no, I don't know. Did they he, have a rival? He he sold oh. it to Chuck Norris. Well, really? Yeah. Interesting. So, yeah. It, oh, well, I guess that makes sense. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, as he was pursuing his uh, movie career. Chuck, um, you want this? I'm not sure. That's how Bob Wall gets the cut on his face. Yes. Cause, uh, you mean Kano? Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah All Kano-ish. right. So. I, I can keep going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so if you haven't seen this movie, you're probably going to be really familiar with its story structure because. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ripped it off. Like, well, I mean, they always said that about. Paul Thomas Anderson, or sorry, Paul Anderson, right? That I was like, would, not the same. <laughs> yep, not the same. Paul, Paul W.S. Anderson? Yeah. W.S. Anderson. Uh, yeah. He's like what do they call him, a rip-off artist? A rip-off artist. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of scenes and shots and stuff he takes sure, from, sure, sure. but uh, an entire plot of a movie. Well, I mean, I guess yeah. what the video I mean, they game do, they does. Get on, they do. They get on a boat, and they all talk. Mm-hmm. On the, like, the scenes are very familiar. Yes. Yeah, the yeah. scene, I was waiting for Goro to show up. Yep. At the, Which would have been great, but Bolo <laughs> Young is basically Goro. I was right. like, we basically had Goro. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he's so big. The other two arms come out. Yeah. Yeah. But they're hiding see. in his pecs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They just kind of come through the skin. Yeah. yeah. Extra arms. It's weird, though, because they're in front of him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but now I want to see Bolo Young fight Goro. Let's see that showdown. Okay. I got money on Bolo. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Right? Uh, I, 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 I would have money on Bolo, but based off this movie, I don't. Yeah, that's true. He did get uh, defeated by unfortunately. someone he should not yeah, have been. Yeah, by John, John yeah. Saxon. Yeah. Although, Johnny Cage beat Goro. That's true. <laughs> so, I guess Sounds we can't like say. Well, here, they, yeah. they really did rip same, it off. Wow, they really did. Same movie. <laughs> they did. Yeah. Huh, wow. Well, well, I mean, I guess you could say that this is the foundation for like every fighting video game anyway. Sure, like, right, you got to work right. your this way through the, the levels. the noises. <laughs> like, the yeah. bicycle kick is like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, like this is the foundation for all modern martial arts. Basically. Anything. Yeah. Yeah. Is that why I guess we're like Bruce Lee is still the man, even though like Jackie Chan is, you know, he does his own stunt work. He's uh, like yeah. a 
excellent, excellent. Yeah, because it's like yeah, artist. it's like yeah, we've had Kobe and LeBron, but it's Michael Jordan all the way. Yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. All right, that's yeah. what we got going on here. Yeah, mm-hmm. the, yeah the goat, the one who was yeah. amazing. First. He is the goat. Good yeah. job, Colin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, okay, so why is, uh, so John Saxon, modern parlance. Yeah, <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, John Saxon is Roper. What's he doing there? He's trying to make money, feels like. This guy's He's got gambling gambler. debts. Yes, and <laughs> no shit, because that's all he does most he's, of this movie is gamble. And he's yeah. really bad at it. He yeah, is, holy shit he is. But he's also really good at it in a certain scene, but he also gets beat up for it, which I like this, <laughs> that part of it where he's trying to convince as he's fighting, convince one of the other guys who's betting to to up the stakes and everything, and he has to get beat up for it to go up, and three times he he gets beat up for it. He's like, oh, I gotta go one more time and get hit before this guy will believe that I'll lose, and then he knocks the shit out of the guy. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, I think he's a decent fighter. I guess. Yeah, yeah it's like I, I, you're right. If Bruce Lee wasn't yeah. in the movie, you'd yeah. be like, man, he can you know hold his own. Yeah. And so uh, Jim Kelly is Williams. What is he doing there? What was his? Flashback? Don't remember. Uh, well, he start. They showed him in a dojo that looked like a scene from The Last Dragon. Oh right, then he beat up some cops and ran away. Beat up some cops, but he was asked to go before that. I don't remember yeah, why. Because like, he great. fleeing, you know, the the states, but he had already had the passport. Yeah, it didn't really seem like he was running from anything. It seemed no. like he was just yeah it going weird. there. It just yeah, well, that was weird. Yeah, but he got to beat up, beat up some cops, which I assume like went over really well in the theaters back oh, in 1973 sure. when I'm this was, so. was playing. Uh, so then, yeah, if not making sense, cheer worthy. Yeah. yeah, and then they go all on a boat, and away they go to the island. So we're gonna have like some kind of tiered setup here, right, where they're gonna have to fight their way through a bunch of different antagonists. Yeah, I was kind of waiting for a name board to show up to give me some kind of idea yeah. of a tournament you know what i mean name right. brackets brackets mm-hmm. and all that stuff i was kind of looking for that but whatever that's not doesn't seem to be the main concentration you know right, sean movie. we need to see 30 cages of birds instead <laughs> and people in dragon costumes people rest mm-hmm. like yep. think of every weird so entertainment option for Maybe. an underground fighting well arena well in one room. Yes. we did see the numerous cages of birds at the dinner but then we also saw that each room had its own cage of birds yep. yeah so i think the birds are the bracket <laughs> blue birds it's all phys- fight tomorrow it is, it is and like birds phys- fight yeah. on tuesday it is Continue. a physical representation of the bracket and if your bird dies before your fight well you're out so your bird is like this. Was wow. yes. it the insignias also? Was that a bird? It was a tree. Was a tree. Yeah. Like okay. a tree. A bonzo because that's leaves. where birds live. <laughs> 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 I like this. I like where you go with this. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I think, uh, I think yeah. it makes no sense. Yeah. But that's just... It makes sense. <laughs> well, there's several subplots taking place on the island because... Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's prostitution. There's uh, uh, drug making. Uh, well, that's yeah. the that's the big thing that, you, that you're gonna yeah that you have to uncover because first of all you're thinking like okay it's a big tournament put on by this shady guy out in an island in the middle of nowhere is he gonna murder us all and hunt us for sport you know yeah. there is that like True. most dangerous you're game to that. thing yeah. you got a going. hand collection yeah it does have a collection of hands yeah. Because you, you know, they really don't say that, like, the I guys... don't hate this guy. That's all I'm saying. I, <laughs> I don't hate him. He's he kind of awesome. He seems interesting. <laughs> yeah. If nothing else. He's the got fact lots... that he's decided to remove his hand yeah. uh, for uh, attachments, basically, he's when he really wants them. He's really into birds. He's got a hand collection. Really into birds. He's got an awesome dining room. He's got a really cool dining room. He trains all of his daughters to be assassins. Right. His daughters are all assassins. Like... They can throw that dart at Heath, tosses not, 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 not uh, an apple, it. and they're like, One Ksh. of them put it in her hand and blew it into the apple <laughs> that he threw into the air. Mm-hmm. It was bad. That's ass. crazy. He feeds everyone really well, like suckling pig. and Yeah, and, it did yeah. look like there was and a glazed pig. Peking duck. I mm-hmm. saw some duck go by. Like, mm-hmm. He's a really good host. I don't see the problem. <laughs> 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 Other than the slaves in the basement. Yeah. Right, so there the you drugs. go. That's yeah. where it gets me. Mm-hmm. Bruce Lee gets to sneak out of his room yeah. at does, night. He does some James Bond shit. Yeah. Not with a grappling hook. I am disappointed. I know. That would have been awesome. Wanted. Plus, it would have been maybe a little more hidden if it was a grappling hook yeah. instead of the guy coming by and seeing a large white rope tied right. around something. Yeah. yeah. yeah but so. the point is, he's Bruce Lee and he doesn't need it. I know, but I need it. Okay. And so, you want a little more stealth from him. Yeah. I mean, a little well, more. Well, he was pretty stealthy. I mean, he was very stealthy. I just want a little more. I, I Maybe I want a little more gadgetry. Maybe I want a little more Bond. I know that's not this movie. Yeah. And that's okay. 
Bond I'm, doesn't well, see Bond needs the gadgets. He does because yes. he's not Bruce Lee. Yeah, exactly. That is true. Well, they they do a thing at the beginning uh, during the briefing, which I thought was kind of funny. Where you know Bruce Lee is like, "Why don't you just shoot him?" <laughs> I loved that right, why would because you that's his, what huh? everyone would ask. Yeah, right. right. And even Bruce Lee, a master of of his body and the martial arts, is like, "What? Why can't we shoot him?" And then yeah. he and, and then when he says no, he like rolls his eyes. Yeah, he's like, "This is dumb." But then we have to I go like into he's like not the against gun. Yeah. So why? It's like the easier way. I yeah. Like it. It's like, well, you can't shoot him because you can't take a gun on the island because guns are outlawed on the island well, or whatever. We get whatever a fucking sniper. Yeah. You think? <laughs> right? Cause, well, cause and, well, we got, okay, and we also yeah, got into is... a very complicated um, international waters, parts of the island type map right. deal. And so. I love that they went out of their way to explain this because they don't need to. They like, don't need <laughs> to whatsoever because it just leads to questions that I had because you're not allowed. <laughs> Like guns at a certain point yeah. on the island. There's but like a quarter the, the of the tip island. of the island yeah. is like in territory where guns would be allowed. Well, it's in yeah. British, like the British control. The British control the, on this part right. of the island. But, okay, but here's the th- like. <laughs> there so was a it, no man's land loophole where you couldn't yeah, shot into but, the island. Yeah. Did, what mm-hmm. did that like figure in really? No. At all in the. No, that's co- why we're saying it's totally unnecessary yeah. to show us. The standard. idea being Bruce Lee's going to find out what's going on on the island. They know he's up to something dirty. The guy's got money and he's able to bring like, you know, be self-sufficient on this island. Yeah. So he must be exporting something or whatever. Or maybe mm-hmm. he has a militia. He's plotting to take he over the world. Kind of like, you know, when they show up, but the, the, the cavalry is going to come in because they can legally land on the beachhead. Right. Yes. Like mm-hmm. all you got to do is call us and we're going to show up. Right. And then we that really never happens. Well, I mean, I guess it's supposed, you know, he does make a call at some point mm-hmm. and the helicopters, the helicopters do arrive at the end, but there's no big dukeroo because, uh, you got Bruce Lee. I mean, yeah. you know, do you need <laughs> versus I, an army? Like, you know, I like him. Well, I mean, we haven't gotten there yet, but when the when the cavalry does show up, he just looks so done. <laughs> he is yeah. very done by the end. He's just like, and he should be. Yeah, he has sweated a lot at this point. He's like, really? I just did all the work. Yeah, I love it. Well, <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to talk about like the the fighting and stuff that happens. But I guess before that, um, like the. Uh, I guess Jim uh, Kelly, right, Williams, Oh yeah, is being looked at as maybe like you're going to join the organization, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But because he stepped outside after he slept with like 16 women. He yeah. did, and he slept with all Only women. 16 because he was tired. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, right. um, That's some big dick energy right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's going to go outside, so they think like he's the one who's actually running around like, you know, even though like none of those guards that Bruce Lee was like, you know, knocking their heads together, knocking right. them out, could recognize him like, yeah, the next that, day. It's so dark. That's how, it's so dark, about. and that's how fast he is. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. right. you can't see Bruce Lee. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Williams is then under suspicion and, uh, he turns- even sees a guard and is like, what's up? Yeah. But like, that means the guard right? saw him right. and they're like, hey, he was outside of his room. So yeah, yeah. but he was like, the guy. you know, out breathing. That's yeah. basically what he was doing. And so they, they kill him. Well, actually Han kills him, Han brings which him I think is office. important mm-hmm. because it's like, you got to establish that Han is somehow a formidable threat to Bruce Lee. Yes. Right. It's like, right. okay, he's this former guy who trained at the same place that, you know, so he has the same training. Mm-hmm. So he's, you know, and so we can see him kill right. Williams. And plus he has a special backup plan. He's got a, yeah, <laughs> he's got a metal bitch slapping hand. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's his pimp hand. Yeah, but it's, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's, he's got a metal pimp hand. But that's yeah. also like a James Bond thing, it right? Is. Really it is. Like, it yeah. really it's is. Very James Bond. It really is. Ish with that. So, and we hear it in a few because we don't know. He's got black gloves on, so we're like, why does he wear black gloves all the time? And then so why is there a ping when he hits? Right, him. Yeah. and there is a ping that shows up when he's knocking around Williams, and he does end up kicking his ass. Birds get in the way. Of course, they do play into this. Yeah, fight yeah. Scene yeah. because. Lives. Because the birds die. Oh no! So no, I'm dies. done with you. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done with this bird, the bird theory. This I'm is telling you. This is close to the owl theory for the staircase. Yeah, that's the territory yeah. you're getting into. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, owl. Although I kind of, I kind of believe the owl theory, but that's a whole other oh, story. Well, we're going to talk about that yeah. later. I like the owl theory. Maybe I don't believe I, it, but it's I like more it. fun to believe it is the owl fun theory yeah. because everything connects so well. But yeah. I digress. Birds, <laughs> birds, and right? Bird gets in his face. Well, he's he got gets, the hand, the the metal hand. He does, and, and he ends up in an that opium one scene den where he has like the collection of hands. He does. They walk by, and yeah. he has like a skeleton hand, 
Yeah. And he's like, yeah. That, like, what is that? And he's like, that's a what is souvenir. That? Yeah, souvenir. And it's like, that's that's your fucking hand, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he kept his hand. I'm wondering if it was done on purpose or accident, if that was... Right. I'm curious about that. Because I think... I thought that that was implied in the dialogue, that one of the characters had done that to him, but mm. I can't remember... Like it obviously wasn't oh, Bruce no. Lee, but you no. know, it wasn't his dad or his sister. Yeah, I'm wondering if he like lost. I'm curious about how he lost it. Oh, oh no, it was he had a bad experience with guns, and that's why he's outlawed guns on the island, right? Uh, so uh, we're like, so maybe, oh, did he yeah. lose his, shot, his, shot his hand off, off, or yeah, I don't know. Something. That's ouch. We're only reaching there because there is I mean, a line of dialogue. Right. Reaching with our metal hand. Yep. And later, so then now he can hot swap his hand. <laughs> he can. Right. He is yeah. very, it's very uh, Dr. Claw. Yeah. He has a claw, <laughs> a bear claw, which he is not the claw. best weapon. No. No. Nah. I mean, Dr. Claw is based on this character, right? <laughs> okay. He's got the cat and. I mean, oh, he does have oh, a cat yeah. ladder with John Saxon. Yeah. That yeah. Was yeah. Great. Very That's Blofeld. Like- <laughs> very Blofeld. I mean, there we go with the Bond stuff again. Yeah. Wait, let's talk about this cat scene. Because. <laughs> I totally forgot this scene was in this movie. Right. This is where the seduction of John Saxon comes as far as I want you to be my business partner in the U.S. Yeah, he want, he, <laughs> he tests John Saxon, but he has this white cat and he's stroking it like the textbook villain, black outfit, and carries it over to a guillotine. Mm-hmm. It's like a white fluffy cat, too, so it's like the most like villain cat. No, mini me. We don't gnaw on our kitties. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly the vibe. Exactly. And he puts this cat in the guillotine and it's like the, ging- the, the Kingsman test of like, you gonna kill this thing, mm. and then John Saxon being a good boy does not. He's like I'm no. Batman. I won't yeah. kill. He lifts it off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like the cat hisses at him. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to fucking help you. Right. That's it such does. a cat thing to do. It really. Is. Like you're, I'm trying to save your life, motherfucker. I'm and they're to hissing save at you. you. Yes. <laughs> Although, and then he, but he, then John Saxon claims one of the cat's lives. He's like, hey, you got eight left. I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He saved his life. Like, did yeah. you just? So, but does that take one away? Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Just like when they take the souls in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, he doesn't know that he's been tricked, though. I guess that's the that's thing. That's very true. Yeah. Turns out, Hans, that's a secret elevator or whatever yeah. to the basement lair. He wasn't we actually going to kill a cat. Mm-hmm. The James Bond villain lair. It's a cave underground, and they're making opium. Mm-hmm. Yep. So opium, it turns out, is their stock and trade. And mm-hmm. uh, I think prostitution. Are they making zombie women? Right. Something down there. They're, they're, oh, I think they're opium. testing. They're testing the opium on people. Is what I got from that. They're making it and then testing it on drug addicts down there. And what are they doing? And then they have a bunch of guys also like locked up. And that's the collection of 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 uh, cannon like farter house drunk sailors. Drunk yeah. sailors. Who that's how you train. You just send them out. The beach, yes. To all our guys who are out there. And yeah, they they're the training dummies. Yeah, training yes. dummies. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Okay. So he's got a whole operation going on here. A yeah. Bond villain. And uh, um, John Saxon's given an ultimatum. Is he going to join or not? You know, because uh, Saxon also figures out that, like, well, it's because uh, this is what your tournament's actually for, is mm-hmm. you're recruiting people, you know, mm-hmm. into your organization. Yes. Genius. <laughs> uh, it's multi level marketing. <laughs> yeah. 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 It really is. <laughs> On this level, we have cats. On this yep. level, we have opium. Mm hmm. Prostitution, Prostitution and level, uh, yeah. fighting. Bird, bird trainer. Birds. <laughs> yeah, just come to this one class. Yeah. Just, just, the, just the, the one. The economy of this island. Yeah. yeah. It's like, what do you pay? How many bird watchers do you have and are paying well, to take care of, of all there's these birds? There's a lot of people living on that island. I know, yeah. and I'm, they all need jobs. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's a cult. Yeah. Um, but Bruce Lee ruins all that. He does. That fantastic supervillain plan, plotting, and lifestyle. Uh, <laughs> foiled <laughs> foiled by a monk mm-hmm. from uh, well, I don't know if he's a monk is he a monk I don't, I don't, I don't think he's a monk he's a student he's yeah. a student of the, the yeah, martial arts the monks arts. run all the thing and he learns from the monks but he himself is not a monk yeah and and he beats up a bunch of un, uh, like the other guys underground at this point now this is like when we actually get like a Bruce Lee right. fight scene this is, yes. yeah. this yeah. is like an is hour and something into the movie yes. yeah because I mean you're not completely left wanting for fight scenes because they're you know we do see bruce lee fight somebody at the sure. beginning and he mm-hmm. delivers a couple of quick hits you know and you get the other guys all fighting in matches mm-hmm. yes but you haven't you know like you're i'm here to see a bruce lee movie and like right. is bruce lee because in his other movies he's fighting all the goddamn time you know mm-hmm. so it's like when's it going to happen in his first major hollywood movie and i noticed the way that they shoot him in this is different 
uh, because uh, the Asian martial art movies tend to they like to put the camera back because they want to see everything. These guys are actually doing Mm -hmm. real stuff. And so you want to see it. And Hollywood movies, you know, you cut in, you're trying to get more of a character read on their faces. So Mm -hmm. you're in closer. Mm -hmm. And there were a couple scenes where I'm like, I wonder if they ruined this fight scene because he's kicking guys who aren't even on the screen. Well, like off screen right. dudes. And they're doing a thing where they're like, they go in on him, but then the camera will come back out again for parts of the fight scene or go in on him again. And yeah, it is, it's shot. It's very interesting considering I was surprised that we didn't get more of the like stock camera far back so we can see everybody fighting. They are going for that. It is noticeable. Let's put it that way. And I don't know if it should be. Yeah. It's noticeable in the film. Well, it could just be, you know, I mean, bringing a, a director with a Western sensibility sure. into it, you know, you know, and you have a long history of cowboy fight choreography and mm-hmm. scenes and stuff like that here where I think, you know, the Chinese uh, filmmakers would always do, you know, it's like, well, you know, th- we want to capture the action. Usually it's actual speed. Yeah. You know, that's the other thing, too. I mean, sometimes they slow it down, but uh, I think the Western filmmakers slow down lightning fast move so you can actually see like look mm-hmm. what he did mm-hmm. but yeah. i don't know if that like does that is that better than actually watching him kick a guy three times like real fast is it better to see him slow motion kick I kick I kick I got a good mix yeah i was like both? i don't i don't mind that they do it a few times because we still get like the actual right speed. it felt like a good balance yeah. between both of those yeah in this because i saw bruce lee kick a dude like five times yeah so I, I amazingly I, I fast. Yeah, he is very fast. Yeah, there was that one. I, was it the fight where he was he was fighting Bob Wall when they were they had to have their hands next to each other and yeah. he like yeah. hit him. Yeah, <laughs> and you're like, well, how did he do this? It so very fast. quick. Literally, yeah. everyone stood and cheered. Yeah. <laughs> like the second it happened, the second he made contact, they're like, yes, probably. I like to believe that wasn't scripted. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like, you know wow. You, you know, know why? Because he hit him three other times and we didn't see it. Yeah, that's yeah, why, yeah. That's, if that's you how slow it down. Was. We only saw one hit. They saw like four. <laughs> yeah, uh, amazing. Um. <laughs> He graduates to uh, first his fists and his feet and then to a staff, I think, like, because, I mean, this is kind of what you have to do in these movies, right? You got to kind of step it up. He uh, does. He levels up from and then the uh, he goes uh, staff. That staff breaks in half. So he's got the, you know, the two fighting sticks. Then he gets nunchucks at some point. Yeah. But he is moving up. And that was kind of his signature thing. I think like uh, Bruce Lee was probably responsible for the the nunchuck like craze and Eventually, it's being banned in certain cities or countries, you know, because kids are out there trying to be Bruce Lee. Yeah, well, I mean, look at those crazy things. Mm -hmm. And he's, you know, great at it because he, in all of his movies, it seems like at some point he gets the nun. That's like his top level weapon, you know, and gets to do some kind of spinning it around behind. Yeah, as fast as he is. This scene might be the most impressive of the of the ones that he's done. Uh, and he's also, you know, got like, you know, these trademark yelps mm-hmm. and the, the mm-hmm. tasting his own blood whenever his blood is drawn, you know, mm-hmm. he'll dab it on does his, he, has he done that before? He does it in every, yeah, does that he? is a, yeah. <laughs> you make me bleed my own blood. <laughs> I was going to say, is that where dodgeball, is dodgeball yes. like, riv- okay. It feels yes. like it, yeah. Yes. There's a direct connection yeah. to dodgeball yes. from <laughs> Enter the Dragon. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> no, it, it probably is. Yeah. I mean, I like, know that. Yeah, yeah. I'm aware. Bleed my own blood. Because yeah. you can hear Ben Stiller no, saying no. that. Yeah. At and also, there was the guy at the beginning who looked like Ben Stiller. Who looked like Ben Stiller, yeah. In dodgeball. It looked exactly like, yeah. And then, uh, uh, we do get the big fight between uh, Han and Bruce Lee, uh, well, which goes do, through before other things. Well, like we do, uh, did we cover everything? Because John Saxon fights Bolo Young because yeah. uh, 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 Bruce Lee is captured after all this, uh, after his fight downstairs and everything, fighting all the guards and whatnot. Yeah, um, they do get the drop on him because they like prison him in a room. Yeah, how, yeah, is that how they catch him? They jump yeah. him between the doors, remember? Yeah, yeah. James yes. Bond style. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The doors all come down. Yeah. And he's like, right, stuck. and he's got to wait. Right, and right. he literally Obi-Wan. just sits down and waits. Yeah. He's, no, he sits down and sweats, yeah. is what he does. Yeah. Like but a Jedi. But it's just so badass. He's just like, all right, well. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he just checks around his neck and just sits down. Yep. So badass. And so, and then John Saxon, after his offer, and he refuses it, and he kind of disappears. But then they're all brought back up to the fighting pit. 
Um, and John Saxon is to be made an example of, and so he will fight Bolo Young. Mm-hmm. And then he beats Bolo Young's ass. Yeah. Surprisingly. Ugh. And then all hell breaks loose because, oh yeah, that's right, we forgot about the other subplot, is that uh, the OSS or whatever has put a secret agent on the island. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Some girl that Maybe. they sent in. Yeah. yeah, and then she's now forced to be one of the harem girls or something. Or no, she's one of the... She's uh, one of the assassins. Yeah. yeah. And he asks for her personally when women are brought to the room. Yeah. And the function that she serves in the plot is that she's the one who unlocks all the cages yep. in the basement. Yeah. yeah. She's the spy on the inside. Yeah. She's got, she I mean, tells him where to go and then sets the slaves free. Yeah. Yeah. While the fight is, uh, or that I guess is precipitates yeah. the fight, the massive fight because you massive got fight everybody outside. coming in, and you got the uh, the guys in the white. Uh, yeah, strategically, what do you call those? the geese. The geese, yeah. Yes. yeah. St- strategically, the bad guys are in white. The good guys are in black. So we can tell them apart. It's yeah. great. Bruce, Bruce Lee's the only one not wearing a shirt. Yeah, and the yeah. and the other guys in yellow. Yep. 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 So we're like, we know who everybody is. <laughs> got it. Brilliant <laughs> direction. Perfect. <laughs> Directorial flourishes by uh, Robert Klaus. Yes. <laughs> Um, this and then this turns into the bear claw and then the chase scene with Han. And the, yeah, wolf, we're and seeing, the Wolverine claw, right? Wolverine claw, because yeah. the bear claw, as we established, terrible mm-hmm. weapon. He terrible. takes a slash and it gets stuck in a in a table. Yeah, and he yeah. can't get it out. It's yeah. literally like a garden. Like it does look yeah. like garden hoe with some yeah. fur on it. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't look all that impressive. No, I'm sure. but a more then modern put, version of this movie would make it uh, well, a more. The one, yeah, in, but then he gets a Wolverine claw. The one so. in uh, what's the Baby cart in peril. Um, oh, Lone Wolf, Wolf and Cobb. Oh, Lone Wolf and Cobb. Uh, Shogun Assassin. Shogun, Assa- yeah, Shogun yeah, Assassin. Yeah. They had a version of the claw that was far. Better. Yeah, but that was that was like the actual like ninja claw. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. it's like yeah, yeah, hold yeah. it and it's got the yeah. That's more impressive. Yeah, I think cooler, yeah. that was better. But again, he has no hand. This so. is well. I mean, I guess William says at some point like Mister Handman, you like straight out of a comic book, yeah. uh, and that like yep. is yes, he does. you know the idea that this guy has these interchangeable hands like a GI <laughs> Joe uh, <laughs> villain or something like that. I mean, it really does look like the thing just pops off like he's an action figure. And right. Oh, yeah. There's a little yeah. socket he can just mm-hmm. stick the new one into. Yep. It's great. And he gets the Wolverine claw. And then the fight moves into, uh, well, into the house. Into the and room then, of mirrors. Yeah. Okay. But this is, like, iconic, right? I mean, like, I don't even if you haven't seen this movie, I think you're aware of this scene. I was not I, aware of this It's so scene. good. It's so good. It's very good. Yeah. Like, so, it's, there's so many good, like, it's, it's very, it's so good. Mm-hmm. can't express that enough it's just the the photography in this scene because it's got to be extremely tricky i to was a, looking for a camera to the a whole shoot time. It. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> to, right exactly yeah. to shoot it and not be in any of the shots but mm-hmm. also the placement of the characters when they're stalking each other within the mirrors they they match up very well because one move one person moves one way through the mirrors and one person moves the other way but then they you can see the other guy in the background when Bruce Lee's in the foreground and he's taking mm-hmm. up the space right next to him. It's done very well. And it looks like they're like yeah. peeking around corners at each yeah, other. Like, like looking the, at each yeah, other and then one comes out of nowhere and then you think you know where the mirrors and frame end but then you see a guy go around a corner through them. Yeah. 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 Like, it helps. Whoa! I think that, cool. that you don't like it's not it's not shot in 3D. The fact that it is 2D and you can't yes, tell. and you can't tell right. And I think that's also how they hid the camera. I think yeah. the camera's behind a two-way piece of glass, and uh, they can just move it in uh, the shot, and you can't see them yeah. because, that's you know. Genius. That that's genius. Yeah. Really wow. there's, there's one shot where Bruce Lee's coming out from behind one, and his figure cuts across all the smaller mirrors, yes. yeah. which is a great shot. Mm-hmm. Like so that's, great. It's beautiful to see. And he's got, he gets these cuts, which like, I think that was always the image. Like, I mean, I was aware of this movie when I was a little kid because I would see that image of Bruce Lee with the, you know, the two uh, scratches on his, on either side of his face Mm -hmm. and the cut on his chest, Yep, you know, and it's like, what, what is this movie? And this is Bruce Lee, you know? Yes. Um, but yeah, I mean, so like all the, the imagery associated with this scene is kind of like, I guess the pop culture image of Bruce Lee, right? You know, uh, eventually he does defeat Han he because does. it turns out this, uh, well, I mean, a lot of it was, I, I guess I just keep coming back to this. To me, you're sitting there watching a guy who is like not in the same fighting class as Bruce Lee. Sure. And, you know, so you are just kind of watching Bruce Lee like smack the shit out of him <laughs> for, uh, you know, 
right. the well, duration is, of the fight. Right. Well, this is why this guy needs this room like this, because he's not up to par. So he's got to use kind of every trick in the book to try right. and defeat Bruce Lee. Right. And, and Bruce he, Lee defeats him. He mm-hmm. does. I wanted, because mm, I wanted something different from the end of this, because I thought... And even there was a part where I thought they were going to do it because the music was leading up to it because they talk about um, and maybe because it's not in the theatrical cut. But when he hears the voiceover again yeah. about shattering destroy the, the image, destroy the image yeah. and everything like him, like just super kicking him through a mirror at yeah. the end and being dead, I thought would have been great. Like it would have thematically, I think it would have fit with all that stuff, mm-hmm. too. I like what we got because it's fun because he's on the spinning door and everything. Yeah, yeah, because there's a, he throws a spear at some point that goes through the glass door and then right. he ends up getting impaled on it. Yeah. Hondo's mm-hmm. Bruce yeah. Lee kicks him into it. But it's also kind of, and I guess maybe that's why, you know, even tonight going into it, and I have seen the movie several times, but I'm like, I don't remember how he, he beats Han. Mm-hmm. I know he, he beats him in the end, but it's almost like he causes his death without like intending to. yeah. Which kind of feels like we did uh, unfulfilling, I'll say. But I wonder if that is also going with like there was a well, I was going to say Bruce, Bruce Lee's philosophy. There was um, a scene earlier which I saw done in one of his other movies where he um, he he not I think it was the Bob Wall fight. He knocks him down, you know, because now he's got permission to kill him because mm-hmm, Bob yeah. Wall is cheating. And trying to kill him with the broken bottle, right? So it's like, okay, the character is morally justified in killing this guy because it's a you know th- like a deadly threat. Yes. And he Bruce Lee, you know, knocks him down, then jumps up and then lands on him, and in slow motion, and it's done this way in the in the other film, he lands on him and is like his face registers like the fury of like landing and killing this guy, and then like a split second later. This like regret that he had to actually yeah. take a human life, and it's yeah. all in there mm-hmm. like, in slow motion. So I mean, it's like pretty motion. quick. Yeah, and <laughs> you get you get it all because the, there is a lot going through his face at that moment. D- does he do it in slow motion in the other movies too? Because that's I, it also, seems like yeah. That's I think also I've seen an it one image other of Bruce one, yeah. Lee that I know him doing the jump, landing on a guy, and kind of doing the twist at the yep. end to like kill him. Yeah, that's the other thing I know about Bruce Lee. That's yeah. the other image I can see. And I think that's part of the mystique of of him and, you know, the fact that he would, you know, it's like he can kill, but, yes. you know, he feels bad when he when he does. And also so. boards don't hit back. That's right. Bob Wall. Because Bob Wall is just like, oh, it's yeah! and just breaks a board in front of him, like these intimidating tactics. That are yeah. Just like, these aren't going to work on him. Have Some of those are him? good. Uh, yes. Well, Bruce Lee, he's, <laughs> he's got that, uh, that the other thing when that uh, was a New Zealand Australian guy on the boats, like trying to intimidate him. Oh, yeah. He's like, what's your fighting style? It's like, I fight without fighting. Right? He's like, that- yeah, he's mm-hmm. like, yeah. And so he convinces like, the guy. To get in it. Yeah, we'll go to that island. We can take this boat. <laughs> right, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Which the other guy should have been too. Because yeah. Like, ah. And so he did, lets him get on the boat and lets him trail behind and almost sinks him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty like, sure that boat did sink. All in good fun. Yeah, I'm just like, you, maybe you need that at some point, but whatever. You do your tricks. Yeah. So at the end you of it, keep your secrets. do we see, uh, well, John Saxon, I guess like, you know, when the, there's the scene, like the harem scene or whatever, right? And the, yes. the girls come in and uh, Williams picks like four girls. Uh, Bruce Lee abstains. Yes. Well, he wants the, uh, the, the secret spy, agent. Maybe. And John Saxon makes the correct choice. He sleeps with the, 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 the madam. madam. Yes. And so there's like a whole thing, like you know, I don't know her. Her character's not really well developed either, but uh, no, but she is put in as a love interest for John Saxon, which yeah. turns sad later on because she's dead. We don't get to see her get killed, but like no. her body is there among amongst the chaos yep, and the wreckage of the massive fight that happened. I like the way that all these drunk prisoners somehow were able to overpower <laughs> all the. That's because uh, when you're drunk. Prisoners, like you don't, uh, you're not going to feel that pain until a little bit later. Yeah. Well, I, I don't <laughs> think right. I don't think they were drunk anymore. Well, no. right. Yeah. I think they've, they've been, been there for a while. They were, they, were, they, were, they were freed, so they have a reason to live now. It's like, we could get out of here. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Kill they everyone. Power yeah. all the guys who've been training for day and for night. For years. <laughs> day and night for years. And but okay. defeat them all. <laughs> you know. But whatever. Yeah. Uh, and John Saxon, we, we, we did get to see him, like, you know, yeah, fighting a bunch up. of guys before... Uh, Bruce Lee takes off into the the, the bowels of the yes. earth to, for mm-hmm. the final fight, but um, yeah, at the end of it, it's just like all right, thumbs up, and then the cavalry arrives. Close Too late. Up, close up on a bear claw, and the end. 
Yeah. And, and then, then 20 seconds of credits and we're done. Because I love it back then that they were able to just, like, they didn't have to credit every department. It's like, no. here's right. the cast. Here's the major department heads. Legal stuff. And we're out. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's over. Yeah, this, before, this before every guild had a law <laughs> about right. who needs yeah, to be yeah, named. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Now you have 17 minute credits at the end of your movie. Yup. <sighs> All right. Well, uh, that's under the dragon. Um, but I tell you what, listener, we're going to tell you whether or not, because uh, a lot of, well, I think uh, two of you had seen it before. We mm -hmm. had one first time viewer yes, here yep. tonight. Okay. So we're going to find out if they would recommend it. Jesus, Sean. Sorry. Come on. To sorry. you. I'm not, I'm not his. Uh, uh, coordinated, deft as uh, Bruce Lee is. <laughs> We're gonna have to put oh, one of those in your in your hand. We're gonna chop off your hand. Oh, put yeah. A yeah, now you're getting bottle, bottle opener, opener hand. So. hand. Oh, fuck, yeah. that's actually all right. I know, be, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. it's not too bad. I, uh, now I have to be a bartender. Yeah. Yep. All right. So uh, first of all, we're gonna read some of your mail, and in order to do that, we're gonna have to summon our mailman. His name is Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, well, thank you, Igor. Thank you, Igor. Do you think he has a collection of hands? He's a collection of body parts in general. Yeah. So. True. Yeah. He is detachable in many areas. Yeah. yeah. What's his favorite one? In many oh. areas. Oh, 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 well, that answers that question. <laughs> you asked what his favorite one was. We have found out. All right, well, let's let the good folks at home know how they can participate on this interaction. It's motorized. <laughs> like right, space right, truckers. So you can Just uh, yeah. Well, uh, Ollie's like, mm, what would that be like? Nope. Were you here for the space truckers episode? You know what it's going to be like? Space I picked it. Uh, that's right. <laughs> Did uh, he have a mechanical? It was a drill thing or was whatever. Was, yeah. Uh, dance. Charles Dance. Charles Dance, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, space what truckers. a weird yeah. fucking movie. God, <laughs> I don't like that really, movie. Really, really weird. Yep. Weird. I regret nothing. <laughs> weird. Well, how can the good folks at home follow along on Facebook? Facebook.com slash Giant Freak Show. Or maybe they use Twitter at Sat Freak Show or email Saturday Freak Show Yahoo.com or Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Uh, tonight, well, first of all, MF Man, ah. the keeper, the keeper of the Saturday Good Night sir. Freak Show, not Walthy, Bruce Lee. wants to let us know that we are adding two people to the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, and the first being Bolo Young. Oh, well, actually, three. Okay, three. so okay. The third is a special case, but mm. okay. all right, Bolo Young. Yeah. Bravo, bravo. Yay. Okay. Favorite. What three movies have we watched featuring Bolo Young? Bloodsport. 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 Yes. This movie. Yes. Double Impact. Double I was going to uh, see that, God impact. damn it. <laughs> uh, Robert Wall. <laughs> Bob right. Wall. Uh, he was in Enter the Dragon. He was uncredited, but he was in Invasion USA. Yeah. And he played a character named Bob Wall in Sidekicks. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Nice. And uh, Key Luke, okay, mm. is also going on, let's say, the Hallway of Fame. And thank yeah. you for finding this, thank MF Mad. Uh, but he was the overdubbed voice of Han in this movie. So he's kind of uh, in it. Uh, okay. The John but, Wayne sounding guy. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, Han. Oh, bad guy. Yeah, the bad guy. But uh, he was also Mr. Thule in Dead Heat. Dead Heat. Mr. Th but you would know him as grandfather in Gremlins. Oh. No. Yep, so there you go. The voice really? of the guy from this. Okay. It's the voice of grandfather in Gremlins. Okay. He's uh, Mr. Han. Nice. So the Not the actor, just the voice guy playing Mr. Han's voice. But was the actor. No. Not the actor in Gremlins. Not the No. He voiced grandpa? Grandfather? The, no, the guy. So the yeah, he's asking if he was actually in Gremlins or just voice in Gremlins. Oh no, he was. He's yeah, the actor. He is the in actor in Gremlins. Yeah, yeah. yeah was yeah. the but he voiced. He voiced. Okay, Han. Yep. Yeah. I like him. All right. One uh, day maybe you will be ready. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, Mogwai will be waiting. <laughs> Trivia for you: Key Luke was the original Kato in the Green Hornet oh, movie serial. There we go. There go. Oh, it all comes together. Oh, wow. There you go. Uh, Thank you, man. About tonight's movie, Enter the Dragon, B Movie Vault says, Enter the Dragon is one of my most rewatched movies dating back to the beaten up VHS tape I once owned, hmm. classic fight scenes, great music, and still the high bar of terrible New Zealand accents. Yeah. Oh, that, so he was from New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah. Uh, and he says, and remember, don't think, feel. It's like a finger pointing away to the moon. Don't look at the finger. Or you will miss all of heaven's... That, I had problems with that analogy, but I get what he's saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm not yeah. quite, I don't think I would 
If I sat down and had a conversation with Bruce Lee, I don't think I'd understand a fucking thing he says but about his philosophy. you got to follow the finger to see where someone's pointing at. Okay, why, otherwise, th- why are they pointing? I think, like, well, uh, yeah, you was like, well, stupid. I was only looking yeah. at the finger for a second. Yeah. I don't know where it's pointing. So yeah, yes, I'm exactly. going to look at the finger. I'll get to the moon. Yeah. Okay, I think you're missing a huge point here. If you get stoned and talk to him, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'll Probably. Be fine. Yep. Yeah, an extensive conversation on Circle of Iron. Mm-hmm. Like, that came out of it. I mean, come on. They were just sitting there getting stoned coming up with that. They were, they were in the opium den going, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Eli Wallach. Uh, Peter no, Gatt are. says, I hope you all enjoyed Enter the Dragon. I rewatched it last night, and I got to say, with rose-colored glasses on, it was a fun, easy rewatch. I wonder how many of your listeners actually saw this back in the 1970s. I wonder. Hmm. Yeah. Let uh, us you know. guys tell us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. this. Uh, Mike Whitaker yet. says, I heard some interesting theories of late as to why Bruce Lee passed away. Oh, it's the drinking water. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but he says the other one I heard, which is kind of similar, is that he had his sweat glands removed. So apparently he didn't want to sweat stains while getting photographed. And eventually it killed him because of heat stroke. Oh, huh. I have heard of people getting their sweat glands removed. That's interesting. He, wow. Huh? I haven't heard anything. Yeah. I mean, that was a that. spritzed on sweat. In this yeah, movie, yeah. Or, he could have sweat that much. Could have been a curse. Could've yeah, been a curse. could have. Yeah. Uh, Asobi Detura says, uh, "Landmark and influential film that changed cinema forever, as well as truly kicked off the kung fu cinema craze in international markets." It says a lot about Bruce Lee that even today his stature as a film icon and great man hasn't waned. And not to unfairly dunk on Robert Klaus, but it amuses me <laughs> that he helmed multiple martial art films that failed to make their lead actors big stars, including Jim Kelly and Black Belt Jones, Jackie Chan and Big Brawl, Kurt Thomas, Jim Cotta, mm-hmm. uh, Cynthia Rothrock, and lastly, Bolo Young in Ironheart all mm-hmm. live in the shadow of Enter the Dragon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Melody Me 86 says, hell yeah, any Bruce Lee film is awesome. One of my earliest heroes and Game of Death could be better, but you get what you get posthumously. What posthumously. Movie, yeah. yeah, that's true. What movie does wear the yellow jumpsuit? Game of Death. Game okay. of Death. I think mm-hmm. I need to watch yep. Game of Death. Yeah. Feels like I need to. Mm-hmm. Uh, Novato Judoka says, this one I grew up with and seen countless times. I've heard the original ending was supposed to be Jim Kelly fighting alongside Bruce at the end, but Saxon had it, so his character... It was his character that lived. God damn it, Saxon. See yeah. Bruce and Black Belt Jones battling dudes. Would have been awesome. Yeah, Movie's a classic. Not good. bad for a child actor to become a movie icon, a movie and fight icon, and says, Sly of you, Colin, you get to do this on Bruce's birthday. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that's right, because, yeah, he was a he started, he was a child actor in, uh, like, some Hong Kong movie. His parents that's were- cool. He was born in San Francisco, mm-hmm. and then moved. they moved to Hong Kong. And then he was in some films, mm-hmm. then came back, and then Green Hornet and was teaching it, Hollywood stars. What was that movie we watched where that kid was going to his grave all the time? Was that? Oh, it was the showdown and, and, and no, no. no retreat. No retreat, no, no surrender. Retreat, no surrender, yeah. I always think it's no retreat, never surrender. I always get it wrong. God I didn't damn see it. this movie. And I'm oh, the ghost of Bruce oh, Lee's in it. It's a Lee's fantastic <laughs> movie. Come on. And when we say yeah. that, we mean a man who looks nothing like Bruce Lee is the it's, ghost of Bruce Lee. Yeah. Well, between that and whatever the fucking I come in peace, like <laughs> yeah. I, there's movies I've missed on this show that I'm oh, very, yeah, that was yeah. very... That was a good uh, one. <laughs> very unhappy that I've missed them. Uh, last week, we watched a movie called Orphan, and Steve oh, Carney sure says, when I was going through my, all my Blu-rays recently and deciding which ones I'd never watch again and could get rid of. I always skip over Orphan. It's a really good movie. If you all haven't seen Bill Burr's podcast review of the film, it's fantastic. He's trying to remember Esther's name. So he <laughs> says part of the tagline, there's something wrong with this eight-year-old girl in the old person's name who dresses like she's from the 1800s and speaks <laughs> in a Transylvanian accent. I think, was that Michael Whitaker? Yeah, I think oh, he, sent, Carney, I think he sent the Bill M- he did, thing yeah, to he, us. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I listened to a little bit of it. I still got to finish yeah, it. Who's but yeah, who's this fucking girl? With the, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Stuart D says, I love Orphan. I was even pleasantly surprised with Orphan First Kill and the awesome Twist It Head. I yes, yeah, seen it so I'm, yeah, yeah. It's on yeah, Paramount I Plus. I'm going to have to go watch yeah. that too. Yeah, I, we were, I was a big fan of Orphan. Yeah. I like that movie. Yes, you were. That was good. You were, yeah. I was well, too. Orphan oh, First yeah. Kill is trashier, but in some ways more fun. Well, yeah. okay. well that, sounds <laughs> that sounds great. I'll yeah. watch it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Joey Blythe said, I just fi- finished First Kill. It's so good. So there you go. There's Hell another yeah. recommendation. Okay, All right. Nice. Yeah. And Travis Legler says, you guys talked about a line that was taken out of the trailer, something about it being hard to love a foster child. Yeah. My wife was raised in foster care and eventually was adopted by her foster mother. She told me stories about how she overheard parents of her friends that called her a dirty adopted kid. And this was in the late 
late 90s. Damn. And I was shocked to hear this so I can see why they took it out of the trailer. Yeah, that's sure. rough. Yeah, yeah, there was always a stigma mm-hmm. about kids from foster homes and stuff like that. I mean, yeah. Yeah, we talked it about a it a little bit on that episode. Mm-hmm. It's like it becomes a bigger deal when the movie's a hit and everybody kind right. of looks at it as yeah. the, you know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, the week before, we watched a movie called The Mortuary Collection. Uh, mm-hmm. And Joey Blythe is talking about, okay, so you, you, you got to go back and listen to our episode. This isn't a spoiler, but it's just talking about something that's on that. Uh, but he says, uh, female spotted laughing hyenas also have a penis and give birth the same way. <gasps> Yes, they do. Uh, no. Because we were talking yeah. about yeah. The, how did they give birth? Oh, no, you got no, not monkeys. tell you. No, you need you gotta watch it. No. You, you gotta watch oh, it. My. He says uh, on another note, I I'm mean, glad. I will look it up, but <laughs> you can oh. watch the movie. Yeah, no, just watch, just watch the movie. Okay. It's worth okay. it. Okay, yeah. okay. Or at least it's a, it's an anthology. At least watch the anthology story. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you should watch you know? the whole thing. Yeah, but the yeah. whole thing right. is good. Yeah. It, I saw some imagery from. Just like the, it, it looks it's creepy. Good. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. It's very well produced. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Joey Blythe says on another note, I'm glad you liked Werewolf by Night, and I'm happy that we talked about that on yeah, that yeah, show. Yeah. Uh, I'm happy that the MCU is starting to lean into the horror side of Marvel soon with Blade and Midnight Sun. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll take what I can get. Yeah. And uh, about Mortuary Collection, Jonathan Holt says, much like uh, Sean, must download Shudder. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Which yep. is where it's available. Yes. yes. Yes, you must. All right. Well, thank you each and every one of thank you, you very for much. writing in. We really appreciate it. Indeed. Uh, now we're going to go around the table and tell you whether or not you should watch Enter the Dragon, starting with. Michaela, even though Holly has been dancing for the last half hour. I don't want to sit. <laughs> but Michaela. All right. We're going order tonight. What did you think about Bruce Lee's Enter the Dragon? Uh, I have a lot of blind spots when it comes to martial arts movies in mm. general, but uh, and Bruce Lee stuff, I definitely have blind spots for too. But I've seen this. And I've seen Game of Death. And I think that's all I've seen. So I've seen <laughs> the, both ends of the spectrum the great stuff and the not so great and circle stuff. of iron yeah and circle of iron yes <laughs> so um, the middle stuff the middle stuff <laughs> i would recommend the big boss then yeah. if you if you were going to do it do the big boss okay uh and this one's just great like it does move a little slow but it has a great formula because as we talked about it's been ripped off for everything and still is continues to be ripped off um and he bruce lee like you just i feel like you get his dedication and his maybe borderline unhealthy obsession like mm-hmm. really comes through on screen uh his obsession with perfectionism is is yeah. apparent um but the movie's all the more better for it and i mean bolo young come on like we're never gonna pass on a movie no. that bolo young's in no, like, I, I feel comfortable saying that <laughs> and i but i just want him where's my bolo young movie where's my movie where he gets to say lines and gets to be the hero and doesn't just show up and growl and then get his ass iron kicked. heart i was like it's but iron heart from... is it iron heart okay yeah i wouldn't because... mind watching a bolo like yeah the, the actual bolo young bolo yeah, young yeah. Actual bolo young where he actually movie. gets to do something yes i would love that um crack a joke i don't know yeah yeah <laughs> one-liners right Something. i yeah. would love to see the, the i'd love to see the buddy cop movie with bolo young. yes exactly i Let's, really would yeah any any I'll put bolo young in any movie i'll watch it uh, but someone tell him that we're rooting for him yeah <laughs> get him on cameo at the very least bolo, you if know? you can hear us yeah we love you <laughs> This, uh, I mean, the production value of this movie is insanely good, especially in the last act and the last fight scene with all the mirrors and stuff. Beautiful. It's just yeah. phenomenal. Like it's it it truly is like, um, this is kind of like an an eat your vegetables movie. Like you should see it because it's like healthy for your like cinema like knowledge. You know, right? Yeah. But then you discover you like vegetables. But then you, but then yeah, you actually this is actually enjoyable too. Yeah, so it's like, oh, green beans yeah. are good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you know, do yourself a favor and watch it because it's good for you and it's good for your film education and your taste <laughs> making. Um, but you'll also enjoy it too. And I don't think we talked enough about the snake stuff because the snake <laughs> stuff went on for a long oh time. Oh my God, the guy who left the room with the snake. Yeah. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah. There's, a, there's, a, there's a scene where, where uh, a snake is guarding the trap door. So obviously yeah. Bruce Lee grabs it and we'll say, I asked It's like, a is cobra he gonna... though. Like, yeah. And he's grabbing it by it's the back of the head. He's yeah. smacking it. Yeah, to make it what are you smacking it? it. <laughs> and then yeah. he's throwing it in a bag and, and carrying it around I was around wondering, he's saving it for later and he yeah. does. And then he puts it, there's a small control room with big windows in it and he throws it in there and the oh one guy God. sees the snake and without hesitation chair through the window and then dies <laughs> and then he Basically dies, dies. And yeah. Yeah, it's great and i love the yeah not a second of hesitation of, nope. of is there any other way out of the situation he was he was on nope, right was I, way out of I, un- I understood every second of his actions yeah. 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 it was just his reflexes were so quick yep. you know, he saw that snake and he was out yep, yep. 
I get it. And and we didn't even talk about the Bruce Lee sitting there like just looking bored, waiting for it to finish. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. just like these guys are such idiots. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear the audience like laughing. It's probably so in the great. Theater it's was, so yeah, great. It but yeah, and that was wild. And it, but it also made me like feel like oh, there's actual real danger in this movie right now, and it's yeah, making me right? uncomfortable a little bit. Like I don't like that he's slapping the head of this cobra. <laughs> no, you know, at stop all. slapping the snake. Yeah, uh, but like these are the things that. Um, make movies from the seventies great because you won't see that in a movie ever. Slapping now, so. the snake would be a great throwback kung fu movie. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright twenty twenty two Saturday Night Freak Show. <laughs> Slapping the snake. <laughs> okay, just so we All remember right, that. If you say so, Sean. <laughs> uh, I, you know what I do. I'm I just do. saying it sounds much more <laughs> sexual, like yeah, a, like a like, porno than it sounds well, like. Well, that's it. what draws it, people in, yeah. and then you give them a kung it fu movie. It sounds like the <laughs> porn parody of Enter the Dragon. Yeah, yeah. It's, slapping it's the a, snake. it's a, yeah. it's a technique. Slapping the snake like Tiger. Claw. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sounds like practice sounds slapping like, the snake. It sounds like jerking off. <laughs> it does sound like. Yeah, jerking I know. Off. It does. <laughs> that's the point. <laughs> All right, I'm going to recommend it. I think you got to watch it for a multitude of reasons, but I think you'll also enjoy watching it. So it's recommend. Sean, what do you think? <laughs> Enter the dragon slapping the snake. This fits. <laughs> um, for, uh, as a first time watcher, um, uh, this was, uh, I really enjoyed this movie tonight. Um, again, uh, like Michaela, I have a lot of like, unless we bring it here, usually I have a lot of blind spots as far as Bruce Lee goes and Kung Fu movies. I know uh, the image of the man. I know his legend, but it's nice to watch the movies that got him there to that legend status. It's, uh, it's, Watching something like this, it makes me sad that we didn't get like another 20 years of Bruce Lee movies because who knows what he could have done and where he could have gone. Um, it could have been great. But what he did leave behind in Enter the Dragon, I think, is is a really good movie. It's fun. Um, I like the characters. Uh, everyone who's in this, John Saxon and, and Jim Kelly and all the supporting characters are great. There's some very funny moments in this movie. The, the, the final boss battle where he gets that one kick in that is so fast that the boss, like it shot from behind and he goes flying off screen. Oh, like, yeah, that was there's good. There's yeah. some yeah. great <laughs> moments in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> it, it it's fun i mean it's um it's a very entertaining movie uh, i enjoyed it um i want to see what a game of death yeah yeah uh, yeah, well, I mean, yeah even if it, uh, no death. no no you <laughs> all described it as bad <laughs> Major downgrade from this that's <laughs> fine like i want to again i want to see the spectrum of this and everything so i mean watching this makes me interested in more bruce lee stuff um i'm glad i finally got to see this i mean it is enter the dragon like michaela said you should see it for just for your cinematic education mm -hmm. um and so i will recommend it to you because not only that but you'll have a good time watching it uh i recommend enter the dragon holly what do mm -hmm. you think um i love this movie i've always loved this movie <laughs> i like martial arts movies i grew up with them it's my jam um but i actually hadn't watched a bruce lee movie in a long time um the closest thing i is probably watching uh once upon a time in hollywood <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that just made me love those scenes even more uh, i thought that they portrayed bruce lee so well in that movie so if you haven't seen it you should watch it um and mike mo did an amazing job as bruce lee he was spot on and he's a really nice guy by the way his um, mom yeah was it was it his mom that was unhappy with the way that uh bruce lee's mom bruce lee bruce was it linda lee caught or his daughter or his daughter his daughter his daughter shannon yeah yeah yeah, okay. the way he was yeah, yeah, yeah yeah she didn't like it but i don't know i thought it was pretty great yeah and i, I mean, mean <laughs> We could talk about the movie. It's fiction. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I love Bruce Lee. <laughs> I forget how much I love him until I watch Enter the Dragon. And I'm like, fuck Bruce Lee. Like 1973. And we're still like in awe of yeah. him in this movie. Like that's to me, that's huge. Cause we watch a lot of movies from the seventies that like we, uh, we understand the difference in, in movies now. Like we see how, how they appeal differently to audiences, but this one still fucking holds up. It's still really good. I'm still in awe of Bruce Lee, even though we've seen so much advancement in martial arts. Like it doesn't compare. He's still, he is the goat for a reason. I Colin I, said so. Yeah. Colin said so. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. I fucking love this movie. I love Bruce Lee. I don't know why anyone wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't you recommend it? Kind of fangirling over here. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that's why you're dancing. You're like, I got to get this energy out. I know. I love Bruce Lee. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good. <laughs> He's really hot. Okay. Colin, what'd you think? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, I'm going to recommend it. Uh, it's a. Uh... It's more than a movie in some ways. This is like a monument to a guy. You know, it's yeah, like, it really does yeah. seem like it. It 
it stands as you know. I like mean, his this statue is a, would have those cuts and scars yeah. on him. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. it would. Yeah. You know, um, I mean, the legacy of this movie is like almost impossible. To, you know, it, it, and him, I suppose that he, like there was a whole cottage industry of movies in Hong Kong where they would have guys, uh, Bruce Lee, you know, mm-hmm. Bruce Lee, L I. Uh, you know, <laughs> Bruce Lie. You know, what I mean, or, or, like or, all... or I've seen posters that said "trained with Bruce Lee" or mm-hmm. "trained with." They would just mention them on posters, right. yeah, even if they weren't in the movie. Yeah, and then he supposedly uh, Bruce Lee, like one of his instructors, he went to class with the Ip Man, and now uh, there's yeah. all these Ip Man yeah. movies, with uh, Donnie Yen. Yeah, and so you know, you look at the martial arts. Oh, the the, the, the they call me Bruce movies. Mm-hmm. They still I mean, call me Bruce. The last dragon or, was Bruce Leroy. Come on. <laughs> Bruce Leroy. Bruce Leroy. <laughs> uh, you know, and I mean, obviously you've got, you know, whatever, your Jet Lees and uh, Donnie Yen's, like I said, or, you know, these guys who have come since. Um, Tony, uh, Tony Ja. Tony Ja. Yeah. I was yeah. thinking yeah. when yeah. you Bach said, movies, yeah. yeah, about the uh, slapping the Cobra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, like, you like saying it. Doesn't he do that? And like, wasn't that like part of his? Maybe. In Angbach? In yeah. Angbach or Protector? Or what was Maybe it? in Protector, because we watched Protector here. Yeah. Um, then these guys from the raid. But like, it just doesn't seem like the market for martial arts. Like, you're not going to, none of those guys are going to become superstars. Like, I mean, you have to kind of understand that Bruce Lee was like the epitome of cool, you know, in mm-hmm. in the 1970s. He I did think dress that's very the, nice in this movie as well. Yeah, I mean, it's just, um, I don't know, it's sad that he died, you know, like I said, a month before the movie came out mm-hmm. and uh, and never got to actually see uh, how big it would, it would get, because I think he was big in Hong Kong, and it was kind of spreading internationally, mm-hmm. and this was the one that actually made, you know, nunchucks, uh, every kid needed, you know, had to be like oh, Bruce yeah. Lee. Mm-hmm. Um, he could have been James Bond at some point if he kept going. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. if this, would there have been an Enter the Dragon two where he's playing League off on another mission? You yeah. know, they they recruit him for or whatever. I mean, who knows? Uh, and I did see some stills of um, like a couple movies he was working on. Like he was gonna play Zatoichi the Blind oh, Sword, yeah. nice. the Japanese guy. Uh, and then uh, there was another one where he was like a Mongolian warrior. It kind of looked like a Conan kind of thing. Nice. But, uh, you know, that I saw like cool. the stills from that. And these projects, you know, obviously never materialized. So, um, but I mean, as far as the movie itself, I mean, I've been saying, that, you know, there's there's some, my big problem with it is just that, you know, the, the people are obviously outmatched by being in the same uh, right. room with with Bruce Lee, but I get that that's not the you know intent of the movie. And we have seen, I think if you're f- coming into this for the first time, you ha- it has been a little bit diluted by the fact that you've seen so many riffs on this, mm-hmm. you know, but this is the, uh, this is the mineral ore. This is the, <laughs> the, the vein, you know, of the, of the original stuff. So I think, uh, for full strength, Bruce Lee, you got to go with enter the dragon. Yeah. Um, Okay, that's it. So that means uh, four four recommends. It's, uh, that means contractually, then you're obligated by listening to the show to watch the movie. Mm-hmm. So that's enjoy. True. Would slapping the cobra be better? As a yeah, name, I yeah. think so. Yeah, slapping the cobra. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I think so. <laughs> I think so. As a, a, slapping as the a cobra. fighting style and yeah. as a movie slap. Yeah. I'll take credit yeah. for that one. All right. Yeah. All right. yeah. There you go. All right. Okay. Next week we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by Sean. Mm. What are we watching next week? You got big shoes to fill. Yeah. I do. Uh, <laughs> next week we're gonna get wild. We're gonna watch wild things. Oh, boy. oh wow! Okay, really? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Recently okay. celebrating a new 4K release. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh. yeah. Okay. All right. Wild things next <laughs> right. week on the Saturday night. For, oh, have you guys seen this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yes, right. Of course. Everybody I think it? you were issued it if you lived in the suburbs. <laughs> yeah. 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 There was an era where it was. It, it, almost you, implanted into your brain. I feel like if you've been to a slumber party ever, yeah. you've seen this. You know? <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Have you seen this? Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. This was a cultural moment. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For yes. everyone. Not just I young, remember not where just I was boys. when I saw this movie. Not just yeah. young yeah. boys. I think <laughs> everyone, everyone does, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, Wild Things, join us for that next week. And until then, boils and ghouls, the basement is going dark. <laughs>